Let's I verify this identity. So I'm going to take this, like I always do, and write it at the bottom. That's not even that. Here. And I'm going to erase it from here because that's what I want to prove. One, I'll change colors even two, so you can see. So this three, is going to equal four, something, which is going to equal something, etc. until I get down to the bottom. So let's see if this works. Well, first of all, I notice that I want to turn it into sure a cotangent. So I'm going to look for a, for a Pythagorean identity that relates cosecant to cotangent. And there is one. If you look at your sheet, it is cotangent squared x equals cosecant squared uh, x minus 1, which means cosecant squared x equals cotangent okay, squared yeah, x that. plus so 1. Your regular so that's what I want to use. So I'm going to plug this in, one minus but there's x really, plus x this is like plus that x squared. Plus dot, so I'm going to write dot, dot, dot. cotangent squared x plus okay. 1 squared minus 2 cosecant x plus 1. Oops, plus 1. Got that so far? Mm-hmm. All right. Now I'm going to... So, like, this is essentially what you uh, Keeping my eye on what I want, right. I'm thinking just this yeah. up. Like okay, let's just foil yeah. this out. In fact, I'm going to need a little bit more space, so I'm going to write these equal here. signs over here oh, further. Yeah, that first so this is just going to turn into cotangent uh, oh. squared. This is give you a number, sorry, right? cotangent to, to the fourth x, okay. which is nice because I want that eventually, plus okay. two cotangent squared x, because think about foiling plus this out, the, yeah. okay. plus squared. one. See, it doesn't say for all real, minus so I just did two cosecant x plus one. Because that's what was there. I didn't even do that. No, actually, I did. Now I'm going to turn one, two, this the one back into cosecant. So I did four total. Open third that. Degree polymer. It allows no, me no. to clean something up here. Let's so find out. Three Again, I'm going to erase these right, equal well, signs. This I need more space. So this equals cotangent to the fourth x, and I'm rewriting this entire thing, plus so then two you just went through here and cotangent that all squared out. was cosecant squared so x. Like Minus one. So they're asking for the second derivative. Correct. Right? Second, plus one. The second derivative. Minus two. So what is cosecant the, x? The second plus derivative one. of zero. So f. Hopefully I did everything right zero. there. Oh, so that equals like the cotangent so to this the fourth yeah, x. Plus I'm distributing two cosecant squared x minus two plus one minus two cosecant x plus one. Doing a Malcurlian or whatever Taylor series. Yeah. Centered zero. So Notice what happens x, here, changing colors, the of that, those, prime of x, then oh the derivative. Right. this is why I think so this was a I typo, I think this was supposed to be squared right here, yeah. because if that was squared, then this right here would be squared, and these would cancel out, Yeah. and so would these, and you would get your answer. So this was actually written wrong on the worksheet that I'm looking at from Wabonzi Valleys. Who's your teacher? Mr. Dressel. Mr. Dressel. So there, this should have been square, which means all, right. all these would have been squared, and that would have worked.